Welcome to the 16 episode Capital TV Midweek Update. My name is JC from TradersTruthReview.com. For our midweek market outlook, this is the situation. Now, for our midweek market update, last week the market Busa Malaysia was the edge of a sell off should the market break below 1860, which is at this point. At the same time, we have three consecutive selling bars here. All right? And the market was really at the bound to reverse, and it did at the psychological support level at 1860 price level. As the day drift by, we are currently testing the support at 1860 level and the 1880 resistance level. This is what we call the sideway congestion as the market is directionless. Now remember, if the market wanted to break higher, it must expect good news to come. As the market is moving sideways now, many investors and institutional do not want to take fresh position ahead and rather choose to stay sideways or sideline until the market break to the upside or downside. At this point, we are still biased to the upside due to the record closing of the US S&P 500 as well as the European market. Now the US S&P 500 has been the uptrend for over 490 days estimated without any correction. Speaking of market correction, our KLCR market correction is denoted by a loss of price more than 10% from the top. The last correction KLSC Malaysia had, which is more than 10%, was September 2011. For those who are new in this market, our market, Busa, is merely mimicking our big brother, the US market. Now, remember the short-term trend, which you see here, continue to maintain bullish stance. Now, notice the grey line here and the longer blue line here is still bullish and pointing upwards. Now, the shorter-term trend may be short leave if the market dive below the 1860 or lower prices, which is around here. Right? Now, let's keep our finger crossed. When we review next week, the market should turn greenish, greenish bullish zone, which is what we have here now is red. With a bit of luck, we might see a rally next week. Now, let's look at the KLCI foreign fund net flow. You heard first from JC and see it on our KLCI. In our site, traderstoolreview.com, we noticed that last week, foreign funds were net buyer for many weeks. See this green arrow up. However, all this has changed for the week as we have our first net selling by the foreigners. After the Busa Malaysia experience, close to 400 million net buying, the market turned southwards from here. Now remember, smart money always sell into the rally while the average retailer will buy into the rally. Notice the sideway green arrow here. This week, it is pointing down. We have foreign funds positive net buying for almost one month and this is a very positive news. However, ladies and gentlemen, my friend, we may see a reversal of foreign fund for the first time after one month of solid net buying. Now, we continue to hold this belief that there will be more foreign fund buying in the coming days. This may be just temporarily. For those who are new, the blue line that you see here is the daily net buying and selling of foreign fund, while the red line is the total accumulation of the five day and it's important to see the trend of a buying. Definitely now it is down. Right now, foreign funds are selling, denoted by the red down arrow key. You heard it first from JC at TradersReview.com. Now for our stock watch this week is MPHP Capital with a Busa Malaysia stock code of 5237. MPHP or better known as Multipurpose Holding Berhad was a company that emerged from the parent company Multipurpose Holding Berhad Group now known as Magnum Berhad and was listed in the Busa Malaysia Securities Berhad on 28th of June 2013. With the business spreading from financial services such as insurance to property investment, MPHP Capital was a gaming sector play, or better known as Magnum 4D, to investors. Right now, from the IVSA chart, you can see smart money have already accumulated and ready to mark up higher to cross above the two ringgit and five cents. The market is trending upward very nicely. Remember, 
higher high and lower high. Now there is a lot of SOS in the background. What is SOS? SOS is a sign of strength where we see more demand is coming in to overcome supply. Once the supply has been removed, the market will mark higher. How high can MPHP capital go? That's a very good question. Now remember, the market now is trading at almost new record high since listed back in June 2013. As you can see from the volume spread analysis chart in here, we have seen MPHP capital just turn green here one week ago and may continue for a while. The next target, which is in the short term, is 2 ringgit and 20 cents. As part of the financial stock, MPHP Capital has a relatively high price PE at 27 times and guess what? It doesn't pay any dividend. You can get it from our site, tradersreview.com. Now, let's turn our attention to review the last week stock to watch, which is MBank with a stock code of 1015. The market was ready to break higher to test the 7 ringgit 30, 30, oh sorry, 7 ringgit 38 to 7 ringgit 40 cents. However, the market was not ready to mark higher and since then has retreated, moving sideways, awaiting for more accumulation. Now, the support at 710, 720 is strong as it is just trading below the 200 day moving average. The short term change may turn to uptrend very soon should it break above. Now, as always, have a stop loss as there is no certainty in the market. And finally, for the message of the day is by Tom Williams. Volume is not difficult to understand once the basic or principle of supply and demand are understood. This requires you to relate the volume with price action. Volume is the powerhouse of stock market. Start to understand volume and you will start to trade on facts, not on news. This is a very important principle to be a good trader, especially volume spread analysis. Now, Tom Williams, being the father of volume spread analysis, said, all one needs to do is to observe the natural law of supply and demand. Many retailers that I've noticed react on news as they think the market is news driven. However, unsuspected to most retailers, news are often used to mislead the crowd. So learn to read the volume as smart money does and you will benefit from it. Remember the phrase, buy on rumour and sell on fact. Keep tuning to our Capital TV Midweek Outlook and look for the trade and stock that is right for you. Remember the phrase, no one care more about your money than yourself. Lab Capital TV meet, inspired you, your success for tomorrow. That's all the time that we have. And thank you for joining us. We will review the stock watch MPHB Capital next week same time, same place. We welcome your question and feedback. My name is JC, Capital TV at gmail.com and the site is tradersreview.com. Thank you for watching.